AW had a great show as well, and CM Punk came out to do commentary for the beginning of the show, and... So we've got, we've got to talk about, like, there's a lot of stuff. So so they're doing Kenny Omega and Brian Danielson. Well, we'll get, up, we'll get in all of this. Well, we should do the the news. I mean, like, you know, not not like whatever. So that's, like, real big news, Kenny Omega. And, and next week, there's going to be a two-hour rampage from 10 to p.m. to midnight on Friday night. And they're both, like, it's it's probably the most loaded taping in the history of the company. Um, they're doing uh, Young Bucks and Adam Cole against... Um, who are they doing? They're they're going against um, Christian Cage, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus. So that's going to be the main event on Friday. They got Kingston and um, Eddie Kingston and John Moxley going against Suzuki and Lance Archer on Wednesday. All right, here's all the lineup. So next uh, this coming Friday, we and we'll do the spoilers later. We got Lucha Brothers versus Butcher and Blade, Anna J versus The Bunny, and Miro versus Fuego for the championship or Fuego's car. Yeah, as we'll get that's to. not. Um, didn't 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 you think that that was so, so? Anyway, the basic gist there is they're building to Miro and Sammy Guevara, so that's that's the direction. And honestly, I think Sammy Guevara should beat Miro for the championship. Well, if it's not going to be Eddie, it should be Sammy. For the well, uh, Grand Slam show next week, we've got Kenny Omega, Brian Danielson in a non-title match, Cody versus Malachi Black, Britt Baker versus Ruby Soho for the women's title, FTR versus Sting and Darby, MGF versus Pillman Jr. and Punk with a live interview, and then on Friday it's a two-hour Grand Slam: Cole and the Bucks versus Cage and Jurassic Express, Punk versus Powerhouse Hobbs, and Jericho and Jake Hager versus Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky. They're promoting it like next week is a full pay-per-view split over two days, four hours, and it's a lot of big matches. So what do you do with uh, Danielson and Omega? Danielson wins. I don't like the idea of Omega losing two non-title matches this close together. Well, things um, going to happen. Yeah, I, I, I'm not, I'm not, that's what WWE does, and I'm not, I mean, like, I don't mind, like, a champion losing a non-title match, but. You don't want if you keep doing it all the time. You just make your champion look like a WWE champion. So I don't think that that's particularly well. A good this idea. will be two times, and the first time wasn't even supposed to happen. And I'm also not a big fan of debuting Brian Danielson and beating him in his first match. Uh, if it was up to Brian Danielson, he would lose. In this, it's match. not up to Brian Danielson. It's no, up, it's to, up Tony to Tony Khan. It's up to Tony Khan. I would. It's up to Danielson. He'd lose 95 percent of his matches. Yeah. That's why I think it should be a championship match. If he's going to lose, it should be a championship match, not a non-title match. But um, well, it's a non-title match. That's why I, said I think Danielson's winning. Yeah, it probably is to set up a pay-per-view championship match. Which I mean, that's the normal thing. But that's exactly what they just did. That was the, like you're repeating your angle. So, um, but we'll see what they do. It'll probably be a hell of a match. I just, um, you know, I mean, they they have to have. I mean, they have to go twenty plus minutes, don't they? They have to. I would think so. I think they have to on 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 because it's got to be. It better I mean, be more than four. Yeah, I mean it has to be a classic match. I mean the way it's being built up and everything like that. And even if it wasn't, it's like these two guys in their first meeting with their reputations and everything like that. I mean you you have to go out there and try to do match of the year. I mean you have to try. So um, it's going to be a. Uh, you know, I mean, it should do a big rating. It should, but um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot. There was really a lot of good stuff. They had a great crowd and um, a lot of really good stuff on the show tonight. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got twelve thousand episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.